Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to a brand new series on this channel. It is of course going to be based around Ultimate Team, but it's going to have certain elements from career mode as well. I'm super excited to get this one started out because I've not done an Ultimate Team series, a proper Ultimate Team series on my channel for ages now and whenever I do Ultimate Team content, it doesn't get the support because my audience is mostly career mode fans so I've decided to make a series which incorporates both Ultimate Team and career mode to a certain extent so hopefully you guys do enjoy this series and it's gonna be somewhat like a player road to glory with a legend or a player that's super popular from career mode, we're gonna be basing it around that so for this series it's gonna be based around Yuri T. Elements, one of the best players in career mode history for the past two years, he's had insane potential in career mode. So this series is going to be based around this Belgian beast. So look at his stats, man. He's got, of course, a team of the season card. He plays in the Pro League for Anderlecht. And he's got a crazy good card. Yes, he's not got the pace. But those stats are absolutely ridiculous. So what this series is about, we're going to be building a full silver team around, of course, Yuri Elements. And we're going to try and win Division 1. Now that does sound difficult, but there are going to be rules to which we can follow. And of course, upgrade these silvers into golds and then potentially team of the season or special cards. So in the end, I'm hoping to have a beast team around Yuri Elements and potentially win Division 1. So the funny thing is, I'm going to be actually starting out in Division 1. And I might get battered because I'm using a silver team. But it's going to be fun, hopefully, for you guys to watch as well. And if you guys are excited for this new series, make sure to drop like as it's ultimate team. And you know what? I'm not too sure how you guys are going to respond to this series. I'm not putting a like goal or anything like that. Just smash a like if you're interested in this series and want more. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 17 content. Let's now get into the rules of this series. The rules of this series are extremely easy for you guys to understand, let me run you through them. So the first one being, all games will be played in divisions, so yeah, if we can't win Division 1, we do get relegated, we have to go back to Division 2, try and win that, get promoted, whatever, and come back and try and win Division 1. Only Belgian players can be used, because we are building a side around Yurit Elements, I wanted to keep it Belgian only, so we're going to try and incorporate some of the best career mode players in this squad we've built around Yurit Elements. Current Currently our squad isn't good enough to win Division 1. Now how do we get upgrades and make them goals and then make them of course team of the season play? So players can be upgraded based on the following rules. Win means we get one upgrade, so a win in Division 1 or any other division gives us one upgrade. A goal from Yuri Elements or an assist from him gives us an extra upgrade, so I'll be trying to score with Yuri Elements as much as I can. Even if we lose the game, we do get an upgrade if Yuri Elements does score. But if we do get relegated, we have to downgrade a player which is not good at all, so we've got to be careful about that. I don't want to be downgrading players, man. Because, yeah, that'll cost us a lot. That's basically the basic rules of this series. If you guys have any suggestions for more rules for future series, just let me know down in the comments section. And overall, I want to know your opinion on this series. Because it's something really different from what I usually do. And I'm really eager to see how you guys receive this series. The rules are simple to understand. You guys have probably understood it already. Let's get straight into some gameplay now. Before we get started off with our first game in this series, in Division 1 of course, I wanted to run you guys through the silver team that I've got. It's not the best but it's still good and it's got a lot of pace in this side. So let me show you guys my striker, Raman. 92 pace, that's not too bad, he's decent. My wingers though are pretty average, I mean a winger with 61 shooting, that's really bad. Bakali is good though, 5'5", five five, not the best, his height's not the best but he's got the pace. And he's got a good weak foot and good skill moves as well. Will be really helpful. Our two centimates are pretty decent. This guy, I think, got player of the season from the Pro League. He looks pretty good. Six foot, not bad at all. This guy is Lukaku's brother, Jordan Lukaku. Another popular player from career mode. Look at his stats. I actually used him in foot champions once. Actually did really well for me, to be honest. Uh, Danayet is a very good centre-back in this game. A beast centre-back. I mean, his stats are like a normal... Maybe a 75-76 rated goal, so I might be upgrading him come the end of the silver upgrades. Also, note to you guys, I can upgrade my goals to team of the season or special cards only after I've upgraded all the silver players. So I can't just upgrade one player into a team of the season after getting two upgrades. So yeah, my right back is also pretty decent. Kavanda, 93 pace for a right back is very good. Good work rates as well. My keeper's average. Couldn't really find a better Belgian keeper. This centre-back is actually good. 
He's left footed, so should I move him here? I think so. Denier is right footed. Yep, it's just my old OCD f you know, for doing that. But it's a decent team, guys. You guys know the rules and all. Let's get battered in Division 1. Hopefully not. I'm just going to be looking to get a goal with Yuri Tielemans. Because I think that will be game changing. Looks like we found a game, guys. Scary attacker. Hopefully he's not as scary as it seems. Uh, I'm going to go with this kid. First game. I'm super excited. Let's have a look at his team. Hopefully it's not a god squad. I don't want to be facing Team of the Year, Messi and stuff. But Usman Dembele is just as good. Holy shit. First game against the likes of Pogba, Mkhitaryan. This is going to be tough. I'm actually kind of scared that in the first few episodes of the series, I'm just going to get banged around by these teams until we, you know, get relegated to Division 2. I just hope that's not the case. Let's go. Let's get a good win in this one. I really think I can beat this guy if things go my way because I think I'm the better player. I would have beaten this guy with my main team. Let's go, T-Elements. Take it back. T-Elements again. He's got 5-star weak foot. Let's go! Oh, Yuri Tilleman scores! Let's go, guys! For 18th minute of this game and we get our first upgrade already. I'm super excited, man. I think we can beat this guy and get two upgrades now. What a goal from Tilleman. He's already a legend, even in Ultimate Team. Look at that for a strike from Tilleman. Let's go, guys. Oh, God. This is where problems are going to be caused. Mkhitaryan with the shot. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. We've been lucky. To be fair, we've had more chances than this one, and that goal would have been a harsh one. But yeah, he should have scored from that chance. Yes, t Elements again. Inside into Wootens. Oh, the shot was awful. I shouldn't be taking shots with this Wootens guy. Because he's awful. Good. Let's go, Balling Golly. t Elements. Balling Golly. Let's go, t Elements. Oh, he gets through, but Small Dini is there. Oh god, oh god. I don't know what to do now. Marcial down the wings. So dangerous, man. I can't I can't handle it. His attack's too quick. Marcial whipping it in. That's easy for Jordan Lukaku. No, he's giving it away to Pog by Nies Calejon who goes for the shot. Our silver keeper actually made a save. I'm pretty happy about that. Half time, and I'm not gonna lie, things have gone amazingly well for me. I've got a goal with Telemans. If I can hold on to this lead, guys, we'll be getting two upgrades. So we could get any two, you know, gold Belgian players into the team. Someone like maybe Yannick Carrasco or someone with, who would really improve this team. So I really want to get the win. Let's go. Oh, that's decent from Bolingoli. Oh, De Gea with the save. Can we keep it in? Yes, we can. No one's in the box. So I'll give it to OGG. Uh, he's got the strength to hold off Kante. And now it's Telemans. Sees a fantastic pass into Bakali. Oh, Ramos with the last ditch tackle. T Elements doing defensive work as well. He gets taken down, ref. That is a foul. Could be a red card as well. Come on, ref. Send him off. He's going to give it a yellow for that. Oh, so annoying, man. That was a clear red card in my opinion. What are your thoughts? Red card or not? Let me know in the comment section below. Back into T Elements. Oh, he turns his man. Yuri T Elements. Smalling with the block. That would have been a second of the game, man. Good tackle. Oh god, here's Kante. Good tackle again from Denayer. And now it's Bakali. Into Yuri Tielemans. This could be another opportunity for Tielemans. Why did I shoot so early? Oh, we could score another one. Yes, we can. It is balling golly. Let's go, guys. A great finish from our Belgian beast left winger, balling golly. I would have been glad if that would have been a Tielemans goal or an assist. But nevertheless, a win is a win. 2 0. Looks like we're going to win this one. Well, it seems like this guy can't handle Yuri Tielemans and he's put down the controller. So I'm just going to pass the ball around. I don't want to cheat and score multiple goals with Tielemans. It will, it will just ruin the series. So to keep it fair, I'll just pass the ball around. Let's go, guys. We get our first win in our first game itself. And I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting this. This is Division 1 and Division 1 is pretty hard. And we actually won with a, you know, pretty much a silver team. So super excited. We get to upgrade two of our silvers into golds now. So that is going to be pretty amazing. So let me show you guys what I've got in plans for my upgrades. A win and a T elements goal in our first game in Division 1 has given us two upgrades to make. And those two are going to be Romelu Lukaku, who will be replacing the Belgian striker we've got, who I didn't really enjoy in that first game. And my second player is going to be Yannick Carrasco. Now, I've decided to put him in the left wing position, of course. And Bolingoli, even though he scored, 
He didn't really do anything apart from that, so I think Carrasco would be a fantastic upgrade. So Lukaku and Yannick Carrasco are going to be my two upgrades, my first batch of upgrades of the series. So super excited to see how these two play for me. With the addition of Romelu Lukaku and Yannick Carrasco, this team is looking really solid right now. I mean, look at it, man. Carrasco, his stats are very good for an 84 rated player. Great pace, great dribbling, decent shooting, decent passing. Physical, not really needed when you've got 88 pace, so really happy about having Carrasco in the team. Romelu Lukaku, of course a beast of a striker, left footed as well, 6 foot 3. He's going to be the tank in our team, so they're going to really help the elements, hopefully get more goals and hopefully get us more wins. I don't anticipate us winning Division 1 in our first try as well. That'll be just hilarious, you know, because most of our team will be silvers. But hopefully in like our second or third attempt, we can win it. By then, we should have a lot of team of the season and or rare gold players. So super excited for the series, man. We are going to be playing our second game now. Every episode should have normally three games. But for this one, because the intro took so much time, I'm going to be just playing two games. So let's get into our second game and hopefully get another win in Division 1. Time for our second game of the episode in Division 1, of course, we've got new players now, so our team is a lot stronger, but this guy's team is very good, a really decent Serie A outfit he's got, he's got that uh, team of the group stage Mertens guard down the left hand side, he's a player I want to use in this team later on, but this is a strong team and this might be a difficult game, our first game was relatively easy and we got the win, but this game might be a real challenge guys. Paolo Dybala is my favorite player in the game and I don't like coming up against him because he's that good. He might score already as Brozovic. Kavanda, don't score an own goal, you idiot. Oh, thank God. Carrasco. Took a heavy touch but still worked. Oh, Carrasco is through. If he does score, it will be a T-Element assist. What? Is that how you finish? You're a professional footballer, man. You've got to be doing better, Carrasco. Oh god, he's using the wit to perfection. But Jordan Lukaku is no slacker. Good defending from him. Here's Tielemans, clever touch from him. Sends it through into Romelu Lukaku. He's got the pace, he's got the physicality to bully defenders. Romelu Lukaku cuts this one in, Eva Banega with the interception. You normally don't see him track back, but here in this case, good defending from him. Gonna do the Berber spin with him. Inside into Lukaku. Now T elements. This could be a chance. Uh, the tackle. Oh, Bakali still got it. Not anymore. Oji G Oji Fool. I don't want to even pronounce that guy's name. He skies it. I'm just going to call him JJ. Why the hell not? By the way, JJ's new song, The Creature. KSI's new song, The Creature. Ridiculous, man. Awesome song. I'm so glad that he's back to making content. Even though it's music. Here's Quadrado. No, he's going to use his pace again. This guy's done this constantly, playing it down into Quadrado. Luckily, Denayer and Lukaku, uh, Jordan Lukaku are beast. I just realized we've got both Lukakus in our team. That's pretty cool. Oh no, I think we're going to concede. Paolo Dybala with the finesse shot. He does that so well in this game. Paolo Dybala's left foot is second to probably just Messi in this game. Good goal from him. Uh, what was that for a pass, mate? He's just putting it wide into Quadrado, and I can't do a single thing to avoid that. Look at this, he's going to do it again. What do I even do to defend against this man? And why did he try that? Now Brozovic threw into Paolo Dybala. This is awful. Well, this is, I guess, reality. Division 1 is going to be a struggle. He's made it two goals to nil already. We've got to mount an insane comeback if you've got to get a win, and that seems very unlikely. But... If I do get a goal with Telemans, it would still be a success this game. We will still get an upgrade. So let me see if I can get that happening. He's destroying me using the wings and I just can't do anything. My players' positionings are just awful. Look at this. My defender is just moving away from Quadrado and letting Dybala get the shot off. This is just a shit show right now for me. Yannick Carrasco. Let's go. T-Elements. This could be a chance for Yuri T-Elements. Yes, guys. We get at least one upgrade, even though we won't be winning this game, most likely. But we will be getting one upgrade, which is incredible. Yuri T-Elements, man. Good finish there. He's got five-star weak foot, if I haven't mentioned it in this video. And that is clearly showing. Good finish there from T-Elements. Here's Dybala. Oh, no. This is dangerous. Dani Alves stops. Plays it wide. Into Quadrado. But Jordan Lukaku is a legend. But he gives it away to Dani Alves. Oh, he's, he's, he's at the post. 
I couldn't talk there for a moment. It's that quick. Things are going so quickly. Here's Mertens. Keeper makes a save somehow and he holds on to the ball. What, what's, what's the keeper doing? All right. Okay. Lukaku, T elements. Let's go. Here's Yannick Carrasco. He's got the pace. He's got the strength, I guess. Carrasco with the shot. Oh, that was a chance for Carrasco. Oh, he's still got the ball. Into Lukaku. Oh, wh what's happened there? How have I not scored there? Here's the danger man for this guy, Paolo Dybala. He's placed it in inside into Brozovic. No. What is my right back doing? I couldn't switch players. Oh my god, I don't understand what is going on. This game has got me really frustrated. Let's go. Yannick Carrasco down the wings. Come on. Romelu Lukaku is through. Let's go. Come on, Lukaku score. Why did he take so much time to shoot? Lukaku, man. It was your chance to be the hero. And that is it, guys. We get a defeat in our second Division 1 game. But luckily for us, we still get an upgrade because Yuri Tielemans did score for me. So really gassed about that. Besides that, well, I think we deserve to win this one. We had a lot of good chances. To be fair, he had a good amount of chances as well. So maybe a draw was a fair result. Also, I forgot to click the record button on my face cam. Apologies for not having face cam for the second game, but it should be there for the rest of the video. Next episode, I'll be a bit more careful, but usually I don't record with face cam, so it's happened because of that, but I apologize once again. Let me show you guys the upgrade I've decided to include. Unfortunately, guys, we couldn't actually win that game, but nevertheless, Yuri Tielemans did score for us in that one, so he's played two games for us and has got two goals, and because of that, we actually get one more upgrade thanks to him scoring in that previous game. And that upgrade is going to be a goalkeeper. I've decided to bring in Thibaut Courtois because he's probably one of the best keepers in the game. He's got the long throw trait as well, which means he can just throw it straight to Lukaku and he can trap it, hopefully. And yeah, so the team's looking good. I didn't expect to get three upgrades in the first episode itself. And the Belgian side is looking good. Carrasco, Lukaku, Tielemans, Courtois... Things are looking pretty solid. Now, before we end this episode, I wanted to show you guys that I am actually playing in Division 1. And I'm not faking it because I don't think I've showed you guys the Division menu so far. So you guys can clearly see that I'm playing in Division 1. Hopefully I can win it in the first try itself. I, I doubt it'll happen, but anyways... Um, that's going to be it for this um, episode of this series. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. A lot of work has gone down to, you know, getting this series out for you guys. Really hope you guys like the concept, like the idea. Any suggestions to improve it, any more rules or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Also, do let me know any other Belgian plays you guys would want me to use in this team. Of course, it depends on whether we get more upgrades or not, but we probably will. So let me know down in the comment section below. Would appreciate if you guys would drop a like and show your support on this because that'll be just awesome. Make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel and all the channel related stuff. And I'll see you guys very soon for another episode of this series.